Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I'm so excited to be sharing today's video with you guys. It's my modern farmhouse dining room makeover. It has been so hard not to share this during my last vlog and over on Instagram, but it's finally here. The day has arrived. So let's get into this farmhouse dining room makeover. Okay, of course, first things first, we've got to clear everything out of this space so that I can get it clean and just have a fresh slate before we start decorating. So as you can see, I'm just gonna take all the decor out. I'm gonna take all the chairs out. It is so crazy to see this space empty. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Make it last forever. Stop and die. I know a lot of you are cringing right now. You did not want me to get rid of this table because you loved it. You love that my dad made it for me. So rest assured, it's not going anywhere. It is gonna stay in the home. So that will be a video coming up. Um, probably a week from today is what I'm shooting for. So I don't want you to get worried and leave me hateful comments down there. It's definitely gonna stay a part of our family. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So I went ahead and decided to take down these shutters just to get a different look, just so I could see that nice clean slate. Even if you think you're gonna be putting something back up, go ahead and take it down just to see it nice and open because I ended up doing something a little crazy. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. But now we're gonna move this table out of the way so I can keep working on the space. It is super heavy. I was able to get it into my living room, but we had to call over our neighbor to like get it out of the living room. Um, but I was able to carry it here, but it was like super, you know, solid wood heavy. You can see me like shaking it off right there. <laughs> This rug isn't gonna stay in the space, but before I roll it up and move it out just to like storage in the garage until I need it in a new spot, I wanted to go ahead and vacuum it. I know once I put it out in the new spot, I'll vacuum it again, but since we eat here, I just wanted to go ahead and make sure it was nice and clean before I rolled it up. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and roll up this rug. I'm definitely gonna be hanging on to it. I love this rug and I know you guys love this rug. You've asked me a million times for links, but it's from Ross, so I really can't find you one. If I ever do, I'll link it for you um, over on Instagram and I'll tell you about it here. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and carry it out of this space. So now I can move on to the next portion of the video, which is just getting this area clean. So before I start redecorating, I wanna get the floors clean. Right there you can tell, I don't know what it is, but I feel like there's always sand when you move a rug. Does anybody else have something like that? I feel like every time I move a rug, there's sand under there. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum these floors. These were probably the cleanest floors. Well, not clean, but like less scratched floors in my house because I've always had a rug over here. I was reminded of like how my floors looked when I actually moved into the house. <laughs> So I was so ready for this table to arrive and decorate. At this point, it was just now being dropped off. Chase was behind the camera helping the, the delivery um, men bring it in, but I saw it was coming this day. So I was like, this is it, it's going up. <laughs> I'm filming it. I can't wait to see it in our dining room. Um, the delivery men have been so nice and kind lately. So if your husband delivers or if you deliver, or if it's your like uncle or brother, whatever, just thank them so much for me. I feel like everyone's been so kind and I feel like they've probably been so busy so I was super impressed with how kind they were to us okay now you can see I'm gonna go ahead and mop once again I just want like a nice and clean palette and slate to walk into to start decorating I never want to bring in new items to a dirty room so it's just worth it to vacuum mop do whatever you need to do um, this is my e-cloth mop. I always keep that link and coupon code down below my description box if you're new here and want to check that out. Okay, here 
here is this space empty. It felt so much bigger. I could not believe it. Like, I know this is like a tiny nook. We don't have like an actual like full on formal dining room, but this has always just been perfect for our family of three. But we've had such that large table in here. I guess it just took up more space than I realized. So it was so cool just to see this space like this again, cause I haven't seen it like this since the day we moved in. So I don't know. It was just really cool to look at. Here's how the rest of my house looks. So anytime you're decorating, cleaning or organizing, typically the space always gets worse before it gets better. So I just wanted to show you that. Now here is the rug I'm gonna be putting into the dining room. We ordered it for that location, but it came in rolled up and I just wanted to make sure it was nice and flat for when I put my table on it. So I've been letting it sit out in my beauty room, but it was so nice to get it out of that space. That room does feel so much better. So thank you guys for all those tips. But now I'm gonna roll it out so we can see it in here. Okay, so I got this rug from Boutique Rugs. This is not sponsored. They did send it to me to share over on Instagram, but I wanted to share it here because they gave me a 60% coupon code. Yes, you heard me, 6-0, 60% off. So if you guys are needing a rug, you can use Ash60, um, and I'll have the link and coupon code down below in my description box, but I thought that was such an amazing deal. Like who gives a 60% coupon code off? And I love their rugs. Um, my living room rug is from them as well, so definitely check them out. But now Chase is unpacking my dining room table. Here's another shot of my living room. It was just a pure chaos that day, but it just felt so good to finally be working on this space. Um, my table is from Wayfair, not sponsored, but I'll have that link down below in my description box too if you see it and like it or want to check them out. They were so great to work with. Their delivery system was great. It did take some time, but I think that's just expected with everything going on right now. Um, and the price of the table dropped um, while it was being shipped. It took like, I think two and a half weeks to get here and we called and they normally don't do price adjustments, but they did for us. So I felt like they were super easy to work with. So definitely check them out if you're looking for any pieces. This table is such amazing quality. This is actually my first brand new dining table I've ever owned. I've always bought used or it's been given to me. Um, so I was super excited Chase surprised me with Mother's Day. I'd been asking for a round table for a long time and I had been looking for a used one and could not find it. So he surprised me Mother's Day morning with a picture. Um, so it was super sweet of him. But that base right there is so large and so heavy. He had to wheel it over just because it was so heavy to move it. But this comes in all different sizes. If you guys like it and want to check it out, we there was actually a bigger size. We went with like the medium. I think this is kind of like a five seater, but I only have four chairs right now. Um, and then they had like a four seater and then I guess the next one up would have been a six seater. It was like 60 inches. When we measured it out, we didn't think there was any way the large one would have fit in this space. But now that it's here, we probably could have went a little bit bigger. So keep that in mind. But I think at the time, um, our computer desk was still in there. So we were worried about the space, but it's still really big. Um, it's plenty for a family of three. Um, and we could put multiple chairs at it and to eat. So now we're going to start redecorating, but this is only look number one it actually didn't stay this way so don't click off and think this is it we actually end up changing it at the end and it looks so good and I don't want you guys to miss it So here's Chase moving in the chairs and here this is how I thought I was going to set it up. He thought he was almost done for the day, which a joke was on him, um, which I had told him. We, we always try a few different looks before I committed because I always want to see a few options. But in my head, this was like the go-to. This is what I had been dying to get the dining room table in because I wanted to put these two side chairs in there. And I think this look is great and who knows, it may end up back like this one day. You guys know me. Um, so let me know what you guys think this we'll call this look one and then look two will be how we finished it out right now But I do want to hear your thoughts on this. Is it too busy? Is it grand? Do you love it? But definitely let me know like call it look one so I know which one you're talking about game, you give it up, give it up. 
Okay, now we're gonna start look two. So I have to go take those shutters back down. I have a love-hate relationship with those shutters. I love them. They bring in the farmhouse feel because I definitely want this to stay modern farmhouse or rustic glam. I don't want an all glam house because the outside of our house is very farmhousey. We've painted it black and white and all of that. So I definitely need touches of farmhouse in here, but I still love the glam as well. So I feel like those have always worked well and taken up space. But I had a sweet subscriber write and say, hey, have you ever thought about putting your fireplace in your dining room? And I hadn't, but ever since she said that, that's all I could think about. So as much as I loved look one, I was like, okay, Chase, this is gonna start that domino effect because it always does when you start moving furniture in from other rooms. But I was like, I have to try it before we just leave it as is because it was like keeping me up at night. I was having dreams about it. <laughs> so honestly, at this point, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I thought it was gonna be too big. It was gonna clash with the table, but oh my gosh, you're about to see how it turned out and I can't wait for you to see it. So if you're new here, I'm all about shopping your home, especially right now, like a lot of us aren't back in stores yet or we don't feel comfortable and that's fine. But even when I can shop out in stores, I try to shop my home first because it will typically save you so much money. Look for decor pieces, furniture. Like I said, it does cause that domino effect, but it's typically always worth it and your space will feel so fresh and new again for like zero dollars or you can just buy one new piece like we basically have our um, new dining table but then everything else within there we are decorating with pieces from our house so chase took down those boards that were holding up the shutters so we could get the full effect he did mark the holes so if we had to put them back up we know right where they go um, because I didn't know if I was gonna leave it this way. So I'm just trying to decorate this mantle. The mantle probably won't always stay just like this, just because I really wanna put like a mirror up there behind the wreath, but I'm not out shopping. So once I get out, I'll find that, or if I find it on like Facebook Marketplace, but I'll probably spruce that up a little bit, but I couldn't find anything in my home to find that spot, but I think it looks good for now. Okay, now it's time to fill some holes. Those shutters have been up there. I've also hung things up in here like for birthday parties before all this, like for my nieces and Savannah's. And so there were just holes kind of hidden behind there or from like push pins. So while I'm filling the holes, I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them. Um, I think you guys always think this stresses me out. You guys always have like different options of ways of hanging, but the command strips I can't do, they still rip off my paint. I have the cheapest paint in the world that our builder chose. So it's gonna damage my wall just as much, so it's easier for us just to use the nails. I don't mind filling these holes and sanding it and painting it. I do it all the time. I think it's just normal now, um, and it just doesn't bother me. We have all the supplies on hand, but thank you guys for those suggestions, but I always get the command stripped thing, and like they would damage my walls just as bad. That's how bad my walls are. <laughs> So there was still a nail in my wall over here and it must have kind of been in the stud because I couldn't get it out with my fingers so I just went and grabbed a hammer to get it out um, and then I'm going to fill this hole over here because I'm not going to hang anything back up on that side and then I'll be moving on to the next step. Okay, someone told me right here, normally this is like the sanding where I sand off like where I filled the holes. But apparently there's a thing called like wet sanding or something like that. Um, and you may be able to use a wet paper towel and it even be cleaner. I used a dry eraser so it was actually still a little dirty because you know when you use the magic eraser it like comes off. But it was easier than sanding or if you are out of sandpaper definitely just use a magic eraser or wet paper towel. And since those holes are so small that excess cleans off really easily. So thank you for that tip as well. You guys help me out so much more than I help you. So I appreciate it so much. So now I'm just going from hole to hole and making sure it's cleaned off. So when I go to paint it, it's like nice and smooth with the wall.
Okay, now I'm gonna start touching up by painting over those like white spots I've created on the wall. Um, we always get a lot of questions. So the paint color is Revere Pewter um, and it's from like Benjamin Moore. Now they used like this Spectrum paint, which to me is like the worst <laughs> paint ever. So do not buy that, panic, that um, can of paint right there. The only reason we keep buying it is because that's what's already on our wall. So we want it to match perfectly. So you can't tell I've painted over it. One day we are gonna have to completely repaint all of our walls, but I'm just not that committed yet. Um, but I do love this color. I think it's very pretty. It has like a tan color. It will go, you know, like a light gray sometimes. Um, if you're watching me while I'm painting, I'm feathering it out. I'm not just doing like a perfect circle. I want it to dry into the other paint. So I spread it out as I go. So it gets thinner as I put it out. So I'm actually painting a lot larger space than what the hole was. And that technique is just like feathering it in so it blends into the wall. Okay, now I'm gonna tidy up a little bit before I show you guys the reveal, but here's a close up of the table. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down since it's been touched a lot and been in the warehouse. Um, I'm just using my Jaws wood cleaner. Um, I have a lot of links down below in my description box, so any of the products I use or that I can link in my home, I keep it down below in there and I'll always keep the coupon code next to it if I have one. So like with Jaws, E-Cloth, Boutique Rugs, all of those are down there and you'll have my code as well, so definitely check into that if you're needing any of those products. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on this fireplace. It was already dusty from being in my bedroom. Plus I've been up here like wet sanding and painting. So I just wanted to make sure it was nice and clean as well. Now I'm gonna vacuum again because that's how I roll, but they really were dirty for me using that magic eraser. Um, it was like shedding, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean those up. And then I'm gonna work on the rug as well because I had taken that from my beauty room and I didn't vacuum it before I came in here. So I wanted to go ahead and just make sure it was nice and fresh. Plus when you're done decorating a space, you just want it like nice and spotless for that small moment in time because it'll probably never be that perfect again. So I can't wait to reveal. So here in a about two seconds, you're about to see how everything turned out. That brings us down. We shouldn't care about anyone. Hope brings us down. Doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do, doing what you do, what you do. Thank you again to the sweet friend who suggested putting the fireplace in the dining room. We absolutely love it. We love the look and feel it created. It's just like a whole new space in there. So thank you for that idea. And thank you to everybody else who watched today's video. I hope you found like a decorating tip or something you didn't know before. Definitely shop your home, find items that you have tucked away in your closet or in cabinets. You can spray paint them. I'm all about decorating on a budget. I've done it for so many years, um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Definitely subscribe here if you're new and enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!